this from Algebra 1. Okay, so what is slope? It means a lot of different things. I know that we've talked a lot about y equals mx plus b, and that is a linear equation. And you can see the slope because that m indicates our slope. But slope is actually a ratio of the vertical change over the horizontal change of points, of two points. Okay? So I also want you to think of it as a rate of change. Okay? And the nice thing about change is that when you were younger and you were learning about words, change means subtract. Okay? That might help us. Okay? Slope tells us how quickly a line is rising or falling. Okay? And um, you are going to use for slope the variable m. Okay? Like I said, it's the ratio of the vertical change over the horizontal change. And in previous classes, you might have learned that it's the rise over the run. One of the biggest things is kids sometimes forget, does the y go on top, does the x go on top? So I always like to think of it as rise over run with a y. Again, Coach Fred spelling things wrong to help you remember. So I know the y's have to go on top. I also need to remember that it change means, since it's a rate of change, it means subtract. So I'm going to be subtracting the y values and subtracting um, the x values. Oops, sorry, something happened. Let me close. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Guys. All right, so the rise over the run. Our formula, and I'm going to give it to you twice today, is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. All right, so look at the diagram I gave you. Um, vertical change means how much I'm going up along the up or down along the y-axis. Horizontal change or the run means how much I'm going along the x-axis. Okay? All right, so hopefully you have all that written down. Again, pause if you need to. All right. Again, what is slope? Slope can be positive, negative, zero, or undefined. And that's really important. A positive slope is rising from left to right. So if I'm writing, you're writing. Positive from left to right. So it's rising. If it's negative from left to right, it's falling. Okay? It also can have a zero slope. This is a zero slope. Can you ski on a zero slope? You sure can. You can cross country ski. So it is a slope, but it's zero. Okay? This is actually a horizontal line. All right? And then we look at the next one, an undefined slope. So it is a straight line going down, and it is a vertical, a vertical line. Okay, now let's talk about how we get this horizontal, uh, a zero line or an undefined slope or a zero slope. I want to just remind you that since slope is rise over run, and we're going to be subtracting points, that if you get a zero in the numerator, zero in the numerator means zero, okay? But if you get a zero in the denominator, we can't do that. There's no such thing. So it would give me an undefined slope. So thou shalt not divide by zero. Um, thou shalt not divide by zero, okay? So let's see if you guys can identify for me. So I'm giving you some slopes here, or some pictures here. Tell me, positive or negative slope? Hope we're saying positive. Positive, negative, zero, or undefined slope? Zero slope, so it is a horizontal line. Positive, negative, zero, or undefined slope? Undefined slope, so we should know then it is a vertical line. Okay. Positive or negative slope? Falling, so it's negative. Positive or negative slope? Rising from left to right, so here's left, here's right, it's going up. So it is a positive slope. Okay? So 
quick identification on that. All right, so as promised, given any two points on a line, x1, y1, x2, y2, you can find the slope, or the m, using the slope formula. I do want you to write it again, and I want you to put a big box around it. So the formula is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Remember I said change means subtract, okay? Change means subtract. Um, now I just want to remind you that in the coordinate plane, coordinates are given as points, x and y. So x1 just means one, one of the points, y1 just means the y point that's connected, it's the same coordinate, and x2, y2 just indicates a different coordinate, okay? So don't be afraid by that. Don't get scared by that. All right, so we're going to use the slope on an example. Your first example is find the slope of the line that passes through the points negative 2, 1, and 3, 7, okay? So we take our slope formula, y equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm really big on labeling the points, so I'm going to label this one x1, y1, x2, y2. Then you just take those points and plug them in. Now remember I've said, if you plug things into an equation, you should always put it in parentheses. So I'm going to do that. So I've got my y2. So 7 minus 3 all over x2 is 3. Oops, I made a mistake. Caught myself. 7 minus my y1, so 1, all over 3 minus my x1, which is negative 2. And that's really why I'm putting the parentheses, is for that negative 2. So I'm not going to forget that I have a negative and a negative, and it becomes positive. So I have 7 minus 1, 7 minus 1, which is 6. I have 3 minus negative 2, so 3 plus 2, which is 5. So my slope is 6 over 5. That means that I am going up 6 and to the right 5, okay? Up 6 and to the right 5. So let's check and see if we are right. 7 minus 1, 3 minus negative 2, so 6 over 5, okay? My rise over my run, my rate of change, okay? All right, so then the last thing that I want to talk about today is perpendicular and parallel slopes. You may recall from Algebra 1 and Geometry that if two things have parallel slopes, that means it's the, they're going to have the same slope, okay? Perpendicular slopes, if things have perpendicular slopes, we're going to have negative reciprocal slopes. So negative reciprocal slopes. So let's just see if we can identify in this chart. Now I do want you to write um, the slope of the line, and I want you to write parallel slope, and make a line, perpendicular slope. I want to make sure that you guys know how to do this. So if the slope of line 1 is 3, then a slope that's parallel to it will also have a slope of 3 because parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular slope is its negative reciprocal. Reciprocal means flip. So if I want to flip 3, it's really 3 over 1, and I make it negative, so my slope would be negative 1 third. Okay? All right, you try. I'm giving you a slope m equals negative one half. All right? So what would a parallel slope be? That's right, negative one half. All right, now what would the negative reciprocal slope to that be? Hoping you're saying m equals two. All right, and then this is the last one, and we're going to go over the next two examples in class tomorrow. If m equals four, if I want a parallel slope, it would be? That's right, you guessed it, same slope, so m equals four. If I want the negative reciprocal slope, what would it be? m equals negative one-fourth, because I'm flipping that number. And actually, let's look at this one. This one I gave you, and it says, just in case you can't read it, y equals negative three over eight x plus five, okay? So I want to know a parallel slope to that. So I look where m is, my m has a negative three-eighths, so a parallel slope would be negative 3 over 8. Okay, I want the perpendicular slope. So the perpendicular slope would be flip, so reciprocal, and make it negative. So a negative, if 
I make a negative negative, it's going to become positive. So we're going to get 8 thirds. Okay? And we will look at the next one tomorrow. That's it for today. Now, I know it's a short video, and I know you had to write some today, but I will be checking your notes tomorrow, okay? Actually, I'll be checking your notes on Monday because it's Friday that you took your test. So have a great day, and I will see you on Monday. Or have a great weekend. Bye.